Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are, once again, in modded Minecraft. And I got a magma slime trophy, but it likes to change in size periodically, and it's a bit intrusive here. So let's just place him somewhere else. Place him there. Out of the way. So I had to do a bit of organization, because I ran the quarry and ended up with quite a bit of resources. So, I've got a uh, ton of our energy conduits, partly because I've done some efficiency stuff. Uh, there might be only a couple tesseracts in there, one of which is for the quarry, but uh, i got a tesseract there, there's a tesseract there, there's a tesseract there, which is next to the aqueous accumulator. Uh, I switched out that stuff because it just wasn't working. I don't know why, but it was extremely inefficient compared to when I played with it 152. So I just decided to avoid it. Uh, I set up a barrel for uh, sand because I got quite a bit of it. Quite a lot of dark iron ore that I haven't done any with anyway. But uh, I have 20 uh, steam dynamos. I want to call them solid fuel engines, but uh, 20 steam dynamo set up here, and this is sending charcoal and receiving water, because the water's coming from down there, and the charcoal is being sent into this one. This is both, this is receiving both, as you can see, items and fluid, and it's keeping this stocked without all the nasty piping. And I also have a tesseract for water and power back there near the uh, cyclic assemblers, assemblers for the oil processing. So, this is all I have for saplings. And this is all I have for wood now. So that's always fun. Uh, stocking up on ender pearls because I'm probably going to make a lot more tesseracts. Speaking of which, got uh, quite a bit of hardened glass, endurium ingots, electrum, all this pulverized ferrous that's just sitting in here. Anything still in here? Nope. Okay. But uh, I did a little bit of work reorganizing things, and then I also did some work out here. Because I've decided I wish to fortify. This isn't going to be anywhere near enough, but I've got a ton of iron. And I actually want to remove the hill back here, but I'm not quite sure I'm going to go about that yet. But uh, I'm going to need some dirt. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yes, we're just building on this episode, so if you don't want to see me building and doing stupid things probably shouldn't watch. So, basically what I want to do, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for actually inside the walls yet, I think I might actually change the terrain to more of like sand and sandstone to create like a kind of like a fortified desert military base kind of feel. Because, let's be honest, that's what I'm going for. I'm not going to lie here. So, and I want to leave a one block edge, just so it's easier to walk around, and it also means that, like, this wall is going to be higher. I'm not just making this one high, I'm using this as a gauge to see how much I'm going to use, so I know how much more I need to make. Oh. Can I not make a single thing in this game without Endermen jacking my blocks? I know how to deal with these Endermen. I will deal with them eventually. Eventually. And I set the quarry up under an ocean, but I didn't hit any abyssal stone, which was disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I upgraded the sword, by the way. It does, I think it was 7.5 hearts. Where do we add along this? And I need to do something about my roof here. Because it bothers me. A lot. But like I said, I plan to remove the entire hill that's behind my house, of which I took down the tree farm in its entirety, except for one piece of floating wood that's there, which 
I saw, I considered removing, and then I didn't. Because... Well, I couldn't answer that. Okay, so I used probably... What, two stacks? So... I'll need roughly a stack more of... Oh, God, placing the second tier of this is going to be an absolute pain. I have a really bad idea. I don't know if this is going to crash my world to try. Which, why me? which means I probably shouldn't do it. But I don't see why it would crash it. Hopefully. I'm going to need a filler... Which is two ink sacks, two yellow dye, two gold gears. Okay. Uh, two ink sacks. I realized there was one yellow dye in there, but I needed two, so that was kind of pointless to me. Going to need eight iron. Going to need eight gold. What else was involved with that? Chest. That thing. Okay. One, two, three. Four, two, three. You know what? Before we do anything else, let us grab these things. Soul sand, nether brick, and magma cream. Because I want steel, because I'm going to be changing my source of power to fuel. Uh, where do I want this? Can't really put it. I could put it here, but it seems inefficient. Uh, hmm. There's not really any good place that I can put this. I'd like to be able to pump charcoal into it. Oh, screw it. I'll just set it up here for now. This is also not going to help my uh, charcoal issues that I'm bound to run into soon. And, as per usual, end up with two extra blocks. Good. And charcoal's filling it. I believe it takes eight charcoal to make one iron or something like that. Not one iron, one steel. Oh, not far enough. I actually don't know on that. Uh, a while. It's going to take a while. Well, if that's the case, what does it take to make a Coke oven? Bricks and sand. Uh, 3 by 3 by 3. One per... Me six, so that is math. I don't feel like doing. What am I doing? Going the wrong way. That's what I'm doing. That in there. Suppose I'll go back to making the filler. I'm gonna run out of charcoal, charcoal very quickly, but I need to get at least two drums going to really make the progress that I'm looking for. So yeah. I know there's actually, like, keys to take those things out of there easily enough, but... Oh, oops. I'm not entirely sure what they are. I don't know all of the hotkeys for... Uh... Inventory tweaks. Oops. No. Oh. Whoops. Cobblestone! I didn't mean to spend all this time making machines, but I've decided I'm in a machine-based thing, and I wish to make my walls the lazy way. And there was some changes to factorization. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I need clay. How many bricks do I need? I'm gonna need probably nine bricks. So just break these down. Uh, 
there's a faster way to do this. I'll just go put it in the other thing. These also require more power now. I'm just going to have to hope that this works fine. But uh, the reason why I took down the tree farm and all that is because it was being extremely inefficient on well, something. All I know is it was making drastic drops in my frame rate. And as such, I've removed it. Not quite. Oh. I'm not very intelligent. Just realized I'm actually going to need. What am I doing? I'm going to need a fourth one of these in the end because of the sheer fact that I'm also going to need to track elevation. Get in there. Done? Aha! Okay, let's go check, check, check on my progress down here. 21. How fast is this now? Eh, it's still decently fast. It's acceptable. What is something else we can make while we wait? I think we can take this. Oops. For these. So I went and got some glowstone. Because I can. We're going to need some obsidian. And probably some iron. If there's anything else I need. Gravity gun. Ender pearls, four of them. Okay, easy enough, easy enough. One, eight, one, two, three, four. Good, good. I'll just make it here. There. Reason being is I wish to put this up here. But uh, I made some of the sand I got from the quarry into glass, and you know what? Screw this. All these can go over here. I'm going to change them around in order of usefulness, so the useful things are in the corner, and the less useful things aren't. There! That's better. If I go out here... Place... Uh, it's going to end up going through the house... I'll worry about that later. I probably shouldn't. I should probably be concerned that it's going to do bad things now. Oh. Uh, actually, it needs to be right here. So, I'll probably... Well, I'll probably grab a Tesseract. But that'll be simple enough. I'll just use the one set up for the quarry. It's got the right frequency and everything going. And I'm just going to hope that... Well... I shouldn't need to actually add any height. Because I don't plan on using chained fence. You know what? Screw it. I am going to add some height. For the reason of, I can still use the same filler, which I'm pretty sure will still draw power even after it's done. Yes. There's another type of wire, there's not just the razor wire, which this is made by just adding a bar with the piece of fence. Uh, I'll show you right here. You take an iron bar, piece of fence, you get the fence post, which I should probably also put on the corners, but it's just one to one, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Tesseract. And I suppose I'll go down here and check on the clay. Because I'm going to need the bricks. And I think I need a piece of glass. I think. So now this is formed, I could probably actually place that in that corner over there, but... Meh. Okay, this... I should probably go and reclaim these at some point. Sending items, not necessary. Receiving things. Walls. 
Uh, if I put this in the middle... Okay, I don't need the glass. Let's place these. Oh, I made a mistake. Do you know what the mistake is? Because I know what the mistake is. I completely forgot that in order to power a build craft powered machine, you need to have conduits involved. Because conduits actually do the conversion of redstone flux to Minecraft jewels. Let me guess. It's already burnt through them. It definitely looks like it. So, if I make another stack of those, it should get me most of the way around. I'll leave the dirt blocks in place and I'll fix them later. So, the question is, how exactly did I make those? Fence. Chain link fence. Oh, jeez, I'm probably going to end up with far more than I... Oh, God. What have I done? Don't worry, guys. We have far more chain link fence than I will ever need. Ever. You're supposed to be building walls. Why are you filling the inside? What have I done here? Walls means that you're not supposed to fill anything on the inside, but it's trying to fill in the ground. <sighs> this was not supposed to happen. I'm going to have to try a slight change in the plans. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't want to place these by hand, but I may have just made a filler for no good reason. I could have swore there was a way to just make walls, not walls and floor. So I really don't want to do this by hand, but... Screw it. If doing it by hand makes it... safer in the long run to make sure that I'm going to get what I'm after, then so be it. Although that means that, uh, screw it, I don't care if you lose your settings, they're unimportant to me. See, I broke it, and now it just says it's owned by me, it didn't maintain its information. Which isn't really an issue. At all. Uh. Let's see, while I'm in this corner, let's hope it doesn't do, I think it's doing the weird things. Oh, whatever. I can live with that. That almost seems like a bug to me, because I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Pretty sure the metal post is supposed to be in the center of it. And I should probably put a few more of those along this line so it looks better. Because, as it currently stands, it looks a bit... not better. Because that's descriptive. Oh, I made way more of these than I needed. Uh, let's just throw them in here. Because why not? But, I wish to make razor wire. Razor wire fence. I need buttons. Now if I get eight of these per craft, I get six of these per craft, it means I get 16 for every three iron. So... 
four? And then eight buttons, like so. Oh, my math sucks. My math really sucks. But, in the case of razor wire, do I, I didn't grab any more iron. Oh. My math apparently doesn't suck. However, my contained inventory did suck. That was the problem. Uh, I'm also going to need some of these. Some of these. And not barbed wire. Barbed wire and razor wire are pretty much the same, except barbed wire has, I think, more damage or something. So that's why I'm going with razor wire. You know, I suppose barbed wire. Eh, something. The answer is definitely something. So there's probably oh, there's fencing in that corner. Oops. Now, it's supposed to hurt things. I don't know if it just doesn't hurt me or what. But, uh, yeah, it's supposed to hurt me or hurt entities. Uh, namely, one of the biggest, especially in this case, one of the biggest offenders of such a thing would be spiders. Because they're going to try and climb up the fence. Which I don't want them to do. Uh, one, two, three, four. Screw it. Five, six. And I'll probably go and place more of these uh, throughout the entire thing. See what I mean? It's being... They're really weird for some reason. I don't know why. I think I made it almost halfway around. Probably gonna need just a few more crafts to actually make it the whole way through. But this is what I have to do for now. Oops. This is going to happen a lot. And I realized that. Well, first of all, my sinuses are a bit stuffy. It's always like that for a couple hours after I wake up. Kind of annoying, actually. I don't know why. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm like... 10 or something short. Although, chances are I'm going to end up moving the house in the long run, but you have the idea of what's going on here. I do want to rip this down... And I'll probably want to try and get the nether portal somewhere inside of here. And I'll probably create a few entrances and exits, but uh, that looks good. I mean, it's fences. If I put in a few more fence posts, like, let's make it every so many from these corners. So, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically, that wasn't supposed to happen. Technically, you could argue it's the ninth block, because man placing fences is hard. Let's try this. Uh, do I want to try and put it on these? Can I not do this? Well, that's disappointing. Let's just convert the rest of these, because why not? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? That look even? That looks even. 
Well, the fence posts definitely add to it. I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I really like the fence posts because they add to the uh, value of it a lot. Not value, the... Uh, well, yeah, value, the aesthetic value of it a lot more. I think that'll be it for this side. Let's step back and have a look at that. Yeah, I like that. It makes it feel more like a constructed wall as opposed to a lot of things in Minecraft, which just seems like... Like, if you were to do this with iron bars or something, it would just look like a wall of iron bars. And in this case, it makes it look like, you know, it needs supporting. You know, it's actually being held up by something. It's not just hovering. My only concern is how it is going to fare in this situation. Also, I have no idea if I counted this right. Yeah, it looks right. But, the, yeah, talking in place, or talking and counting is... Oh, wow, is that going to line up right? Uh, let's count this real quick, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Now if I place this here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. You know, I don't think you would ever actually notice. I honestly don't think you'd really be able to notice. And this also gives me a pretty good use for all that iron. What? Just put one of whatever. Whatever game. I'm going to need to do it on that side, but uh, I want to get these two complete, step back. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess, yeah, technically that lines up perfectly, because I didn't think of the fact that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then number eight is that. Is that how I did this one, or I screw this one up? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven. I, I, I can't even say I planned that because I definitely did not plan that. I'm not gonna lie; it's amazing that that happened, and I'm quite pleased. But I can't even take credit for planning that. Well then. Oh, it enchanted. What did we get? What did we get? Blast protection. That's disappointing. Well then, I suppose I'm going to call this good for now. I showed you guys the drums, so next time, actually, uh, in between these, uh, I'm going to get some things going right now for the purpose of, so I can get them out of the way and be able to create them next time. I completely reversed that. I'm going to get some things out of the way here, so that way I can get them up and running for next time. Oops, forgetting things again. Uh, the biggest reason is because it's going to take a lot of work to make all these, and I'd like to get it done as quickly as possible. But this generates redstone flux off of fluid fuel and coolant which in this case is going to be fuel and water. I'll just place this down so you can see. It's got two tanks. And they changed some of the textures, which is fine with me. But uh, I'm going to be making a bunch more of those. And we're going to need... You know what? Screw it. If we're going to do it, let's go all the way. Make a bunch of them. Uh, I still have enough iron on me, although it's probably not going to be enough in the end. I'm not entirely sure the entirety of this recipe. I only remember one part of it. And that's the gears. I know that it needs one gear 
whoops, uh, one gear per, per refinery. And I know it's a diamond gear. If it's changed and I'm wrong, then I'll feel terrible. But it is just that. So if I want to make three of those, I'm going to need 12 tanks at eight each. I need less glass than I just grabbed. Uh, nine? And I'm going to need, what was it, two redstone torches per, so six. Done on that. And, bam, refineries. Now, I have a decent amount of space in here, but probably not as much as I'm going to need for this entire construct. Wow. Cooked a good bit of steel already. How am I doing? These are fine. I'm sure it's eating through my last supplies of wood. No? Not that badly? I suppose there's probably a huge backlog in the pipes there. It does that. As well as a backlog of uh, charcoal in these pipes. And those pipes. It's it's all around ridiculous. Uh, however, I think I will probably set it up out here. Maybe move it later. I'll probably do a small version of it down here. So I'll set up one here, one here, and one here. Because I've already broke this Tesseract, it's unimportant to me. I will have this Tesseract receive nothing in that case. And it'll receive fluid and energy. And I will set this to... Uh, hmm. There's no liquid coming in on this line. So, oh, I can't fit that. So I'll just change it to say power, quarry, oil, go. Set frequency. So those will get powered up, as you can see. Oh, I'm an idiot again. Why am I an idiot? Well, because they're Minecraft jewel-based things. Okay, I meant to get this wrapped up two minutes ago. Two minutes? Twelve minutes ago. So, I'm hoping I'm not too far over the time. Whoops. Now, if I look at these with y you can see that they are now full... They can take up to 150 Minecraft Jewels per tick, and they trigger at 25... You can take 150? Jeez! I'm not sure how fast that's going to process oil, though. Uh, three of them should be enough. But that field... Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go over there. But I am going to show you one more thing. I'm not going to make it, but I'm going to show it to you, because I need to make it for next time. The pump, which is made for a tank. And the mining well, which is really simple. So I'm going to get a bunch of oil going. And I'm going to get a bunch of drums going. And I'm going to make fuel, get the dynamos set up. And get all of those set up down there in the basement. in basically like those reactor lines that I have for the solid fuel. Uh, these things. I'm going to create probably a couple of them, maybe going like this way or something. So, that is my plan there. And... not sure past that. I'll probably use more Tesseracts. I'll probably make more Tesseracts. The steel will be getting made. And everything will be fine and dandy. But for now, I'm going to call this good. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.